This is part two of my response to Cute Fuzzy Weasel's Patreon-requested video reply to my Gina Carano rant. See part one, or check out his entire two-hour analysis for context. But we're going to move forward with the next part. I'm going to start now from the 3220 mark. Based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. Yeah. Kinda. Um, someone please explain to me what part of her statement denigrates people for their beliefs. There's nothing that I see that's... Doing the whole pronouns thing, that was kind of denigrating. Okay, and I said before she's trying to make a joke. People didn't think it was funny, and she had to be told by her co-cast members why it was seen as such. But that was back in August. Six months later, you obviously have checked to see what are the other stuff that she's gotten in trouble for. So I understand that it was a multitude of things. It wasn't just the one tweet that she sent out in February. It was a lot of stuff. Okay, I get it. Um, Let's see, what else did she fucking do? I gotta pull out my phone. Fucking, I really just want to get through this fucking video. I don't want to fucking do this video. I would rather be doing the guy who says the koalas don't exist. Because that guy is actually funny. <laughs> Clearly you don't think I'm worth your time. And it is so obvious that you're hating yourself in the recording and would rather be doing something else. And the fact that this was a patron request makes it all funnier. And hey... All these people in the chat taking what I say too seriously and having a laugh at my expense? Yeah, that'll show you, Coyote. I mean, look at, I looked at your Patreon, and hey, you've got a few backers and some money a month. That's awesome, and I hope it grows. I genuinely do. But seriously, how much did that patron pay you to hate yourself for two hours of your life you'll never get back? I'm sorry, dude. This is fucking funny. Uh, all right, back to it. Let's get back to it. Good lord, this thing is 13 minutes long, and it's 13 minutes of this guy. It's anti Semitic? You ask a Jewish person, they won't think it's anti Semitic. Did you? In fact, she's probably saying what Nazi. No, did you? Did you? Okay. No, I did not ask one directly, and chances are probably neither did you. But before I did write that rant, I did listen to others and what they had to say on the matter, including the amazing atheist and Ben Shapiro. Two opposite-sided opinions, the latter of which couldn't be any more Jewish. He didn't like the Holocaust comparison, but didn't think what she said was anti-Semitic. So there you go, somebody Jewish not thinking what she said was anti-Semitic. I want to hear them too. Also, those are AKG pronouns. Kid Fuzzy Weasel, yeah, I was the one who asked you to do this on Patreon. You have permission to skip if you don't want to. If you want to do something funnier, nah, dude, you told me to do it. So and let's go, let's do it. Look, here's my here's my opinion. You gave me the money to do this like weeks ago, and I had and, and this is I've been really bad about Patreon, and I'm trying to get better at Patreon trying to get better about doing this shit for Patreon. Like, I still got to draw that thing that you wanted me to draw, and I still got to draw that other thing. And I still got to ask a bunch of people what they want me to do. So, let's just do this. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. The person who asked Weasel to take on my rant is obviously having buyer's remorse when Weasel isn't coming up with anything funny like in his other stuff, which are about people way more interesting and deserving of his much more well-thought-out banter than I am. But I digress. And I know who you are, the person who admits in the chat that you requested Weasel you do it, because you commented in my actual rant before sending my video over to him as a Patreon request. You're the one who said, well, I lost interest when you started going on about Ray being a Mary Sue again. Um, that's the first time in any of my videos where I talked about Ray being a Mary Sue. And I even replied back saying I was merely making a comparison. So what's this again bullshit? Did you somehow mistake me with another YouTuber who did a Last Jedi Mary Sue rant 
and you wanted Weasel to take that one on, but then decided to go after me and the Gina Carano video instead, because that'll show you Desert Coyote. Look, I'm pretty much losing subscribers, and I have been since I stopped doing kids' bot rants and honestly stopped putting in the amount of time that it does take to grow a channel. Weasel, if you can keep your channel growing, awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love the people who consistently engage and discuss, and they're the reason why I try not to go too long without popping up again on their subscriber feed. But good God, man, for a Patreon request, you could have gone far better. Or at least gone after idiots with a much bigger following base than I do. I mean, there's flat earthers with more subscribers than you and me combined, and that's just sad. And I've only only covered four more minutes in this two-hour video, and I just can't stop laughing at the fact that this was a Patreon request who is now getting buyer's remorse. <laughs> you clearly hated doing it. You can't make this up. This is hilarious. These did the Jews was bad. She's just simply making a comparison to what's going on today with half the country pissed off and blaming the other half for all the problems going on. I like how you're not being specific. People in power egging them on to continue hating each other. It's to the point where... That's not the same. People from Fuck. other countries on the outside looking in are thinking, Dude, knock this off. I've seen left-leaning people call what she said as conservative victim complex. Yeah, it is. And yes, I could say that that's true, but I see both sides constantly claiming to be the victims. It's like a game of, no, I'm the victim, I'm the victim, no, I'm the victim. And look, I... It's because one side is genuinely trying to fuck up the world. Fuck. <laughs> really? And which side is that specifically trying to fuck things up? Are you happy with Joe Biden in office right now, or do you think he's making things worse? I was not a fan of when Trump sent bombs over to the Middle Eastern countries early on in his presidency, and I'm surely not a fan of Biden doing it. I am with you. I'd rather that money spent on shooting bombs overseas get used on more stimulus checks or more programs to help Americans throughout this pandemic and getting our country back in order. You and I can actually agree on that. I'm just as against the war machine as probably you are. I will, I will freely admit I am biased as fuck, okay? But you not being able to fire someone for being gay does not make you a fucking victim, okay? You not being able to tell other people what they can do to their own bodies does not make you a fucking victim. Now, I've never implied any of that. I don't agree with people getting fired for being gay or being a certain race, and I surely don't agree with trans not having rights to do what they want to do. I'm sure you can point to me examples of somebody trying to fire a person for being gay or whatever, and I would agree with you, that's wrong. That is wrong at all levels. And when it comes to rights, especially gay rights, I'm pretty much all about do whatever and be whoever you want to be. Someone feed Yeezel a drink. Constantly throwing around give the me, Nazi give me, word. Give me a Since fucking... Trump give me, give me a, an excuse to take a break to get another Corona, please. ...got elected. Always labeling anyone to the right of Chairman Mao as... You are a bad faith act. You don't... When you frame it like that, it's very hard for me to take you seriously. <laughs> the thing is, none of what I say on YouTube is meant to be taken seriously. That's the fucking point. I can count on one hand the number of videos I release that are actually meant to be taken seriously. And above everything else, I'm just against what I think is stupid. Left, right. You're just seeing a video that's a lot more right biased. You seem to be in the same boat of hating stupid things. And honestly, the reactions I get from some people are hilarious because I apparently did something to trigger them. Like on one of the videos where I ranked every Metallica song from worst to best, so many butthurt people mad at me for not ranking their favorites where they felt they should be. 
in a video where I admit it's based on opinion and not popular van votes. How dare you put that song up where that is? How dare you rank that song low? Just look at that, just check that video out and see how many down votes I got on that one. You know what I do take seriously? I take my two professions seriously. I take my astrophotography seriously. I do not take what I put on this channel seriously, and neither should you. Jack Morrissey tweets about... When I'm old, I'll write an alternate history where the Capitol Raiders actually took the senators hostage. About putting MAGA kids in wood chippers? Nothing. What? Jack Morrissey tweets about putting MAGA kids in wood chippers? Did he? Just look that up. If he did, that's fucked up. Jack Morris Morrissey, film producer. I have something on the inside of this shit. By the way, I am actually wearing these for a reason. Because when I'm staring at a computer for long enough, my, my fucking eyes do actually start to hurt. This helps. Uh, wood chipper. Let's take a look. John Morrissey, film producer for Beauty and the Beast, apologized for wishing the Co uh, Covington boys into a wood chipper. Oh, he apologized. Morrissey's now deleted tweet. Oh, wow. That's kind of fucked up. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Jack should have been fired. I agree. This guy, that I don't like, you can look it up. Um, but yeah, that's kind of fucked up. He should have been fired. Since set his Twitter account to private, it was something I, uh, that I did not give any thought to. It was fast and profoundly stupid tweet. Yeah, that was kind of stupid. Probably should have had some consequences for that, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Said he deleted the tweet as soon as he started to notice the backlash. Post an apology. Disney didn't respond. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and argue that Disney is in any way principled. They're not. If they were principled, they probably wouldn't do business to China to start with. You and I are in agreement. That's kind of, That was fucked up. He should have he should have gotten some some mild cancellation. Some you could have gotten some cancellation from it, yeah. Probably. I don't know what. See, we actually had something we agreed upon. There it is at the 48 minute marker for those to see for themselves. And that's my whole point of the damn video. If Jack Morrissey didn't get fired for his fucked up tweet, then why did Gina did? For me, it's like a referee in hockey. I'm just pointing out the calls that go one way and not for the other side. But unfortunately, I know that this little high point of agreement is going to go back to the shits because of what I say next. Ugh. Oh, but Gina talks about conservatives getting persecuted for their beliefs. What? Compared people getting mad because they can't say openly homophobic shit to the Jews getting persecuted during the Holocaust. What? She said what? Oh my God, we need to cancel Gina Carano. Everybody get on Twitter and get the hashtags trending. You're acting like the other side doesn't also do hashtags. You do. All the time. Some of them become quite successful. This is not a one-sided conflict. Okay, fair enough. I don't agree with openly homophobic shit either, nor any white supremacist shit, because I am neither. I will agree with you if you point out to right-wing nuts for being homophobic or transphobic or whatever. I'm not saying you're wrong there. Uh, yeah, Pedro Pascal comparing the situation on our border with concentration camps is not the same as comparing someone being, you know, socially ostracized for being viciously homophobic to, you know, the Holocaust. 
There's a difference. One, one comparison is actually accurate. The other comparison is, is just whining. Except for the part that when Pedro Pascal made that tweet, the supposed Mexican kids in cages picture was actually a Palestinian soup kitchen on the LA Times website from 2010 and has nothing to do with the American border wall. For all you people on the left who favor socialism and throw around the word Nazi like a racial slur, Nazis and communists are two sides of the same socialist coin. Oh, fuck you. All right, so this guy also doesn't know anything. Nazis were not socialists. It had socialists in the name to encourage German workers to join because at the time it didn't have the same connotation. But Hitler hated socialism. He hated communism. Hitler hated that. They are not two sides of the same coin. You dumbass. You are not fair and balanced because that's not possible. Everyone has biases. Okay, yeah, probably. Probably. I'm not an AI, so, yeah. In an internment camp, internment camp. Let's see. Nazis were anti-socialist. Socialists were the first to go to the camps. Yeah. First to go to the camps were fucking Hitler's rivals. Democratic People's Republic of Korea, DPRK, must be the... Yeah, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the, the DPRK, must be a democracy because it has democracy in the name. It's got to be a republic because it's got republic in the name. What is what is the People's Republic of China? Is that what it calls? Is 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 that sees the CCP? That's got to be a republic because it says republic in the name. The Union of Socialist Soviet Republics must be a republic because it's got republic in the name. Nazi being short for National Socialist German Workers Party. Again. Having it in the name does not make it this does not like it's not it is not the same fucking thing. Okay. So you know what I'm gonna do with what you and some of the chat comments are saying about my bad comparison of socialism? I will gladly say, okay, I was misinformed. I'll look further into it and I won't make that mistake again. Because that's how I learn. And unlike most of the people that you go after who will just go, no, -uh, no, -uh, I'll accept I'm wrong if I'm wrong. I don't mind about having my mind changed about certain things I'm misinformed about. I was once adamantly against children becoming transgender. But after visiting and talking with one and seeing how happy the kid was compared to before, and his mother being super cool and being very nice about answering all my questions, my mind was changed. So I'm all for it if it's what the kid wants to do, which he was. It was the kid who made the decision. What about scenarios where it's the parents who decide their kids to be transgender? That is a whole different matter. But it's the same as how when you didn't know about Jack Morrissey's tweet, once you realized I was right, we actually almost reached the pinnacle of agreement of what I was trying to say this entire video that you've spent way too long hating yourself for overanalyzing. God damn. Honestly, I don't think this YouTuber is a troll either. Most of the people I do on Feeding the Trolls are not trolls. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Really, Feeding the Trolls is just all about who I find interesting. And I want to reiterate that I'm not... Just to, just to reiterate, I didn't pick this. <laughs> I, I don't... The guy who paid for this is watching this, too. And he's probably getting pissed off. Because <laughs> I keep going like, Hey, not my idea to watch this. It's his idea. <laughs> he's probably getting really angry. <laughs> but listen, I didn't choose this. Someone paid me to do this one, so I'm doing this one, and I'm trying to find things to work off of. Had it had it not been me, I would have I would have done the other one. <laughs> and again, this is what makes it funnier. 
clearly I'm not interesting to you, and what I say is not interesting to you. And you figured out right away, even before you started, but you're still plodding along, even after the patron gave you permission to stop. All of that for how much again? I'm pretty sure I've sold as a photography commissions worth more than what you're getting out of this. Your feeding troll series is meant to go after idiots who do think their shitty ideas are gospel. Because, look, you do good work. But even as you're calling me an idiot and saying that I'm misinformed in a lot of matters, which, okay, I will accept that. But as you're doing that, while not really wanting to get through this shitty rant, I'm still encouraging people to check you out and subscribe. The people that do follow me get it. They don't take what I say seriously. Unlike you, I don't get any money out of this, and I only make occasional videos for the fun of it. And even if I point out that you spent two hours on this rant being miserable, you still get the last lap by saying, well, ha ha, coyote, you spent more time going over my responses. Either way, you win. But at least I actually had fun going over your responses. And I will stop here from now. And you know what's sadder? I still have an hour more of this response to go over. I'm Desert Coyote 22. Thanks for listening.